And now, it's time for the 27 Sports Award-Winning Football Frenzy with Glenn Kenley and Lainey Gerber. Welcome to Football Frenzy. I'm Glenn Kinley. And I'm Landon Reinhart once again filling in for Laney Gerber. It this is. is the last week of the regular season for high school football. If and you can't tell, Landon and I are excited. District titles <laughs> on the line, some state seating on the line. You always wanted to go in the playoffs feeling good. So these are big games. Let's start in Seneca. We got good highlights for you. A rivalry game and for the district title. 7-0 Nemaha Central hosts 6 and 1 Sabetha. It's the Blue Jay defense with a takeaway right away. Noah Kroll picks it off later. Still scoreless. It's Jonathan Renier for Sabetha. We are scoreless no more. 7-0. Just before halftime, Nima Central, they didn't snap the ball in time. Sabetha leads 7-0 at the break. Could we have an upset on our hands? Second half, Cooper Hike says, let's stop that upset talk right here. Thunder gets six, and they go for two. That's good on the carry from Braden Uphouse. They can throw the ball too. Uphouse looking deep. He's got Gavin Kane. Kane catches it, a little sidestep. He's right on the goal line, and it is Uphouse punching it in. Again, Thunder begin to pull away now, and their defense pretty dang good too. So they hold Sabatha scoreless the entire second half. A fourth down sack here. That'll get the job done. Must have been a heck of a halftime speech from Coach. Thunder finished perfect on the year 8 0, and they're district champs. We didn't change a thing at halftime. It comes down to a mentality, you know, uh, with all 11 on offense and all 11 de defense. And our special teams played great. You know, hats off to our special teams who flipped the field a couple of times. We got definitely eight, number 24, definitely worked hard tonight. Great momentum. Uh, we just put together, we showed, I mean, we, we thought we were going to score more. Smetha played a great game. And it just shows that we need to be more ready every given Friday. And next week we play Thursday, this week we play Thursday. So it just shows we need to come to play. Sounds like they're celebrating with a little thunderstruck there. Some impressive <laughs> resilience to make that second half comeback. Nemo Central won state in 2019. They want to get back on top this season. Super impressive. Osage City taking on Council Grove. This was in the running for game of the week because of this man right here. Fantastic name, fantastic player, Landon Boss. Got to be oh, yeah. something with the Landons. Going. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> he gets into Braves territory with that run, but he can use his arm too. Boss wow. fires deep to Jess Reese. Despite the stretch, they mark him down short. Running back Cooper Parsons finishes off the drive with the score here. Ring, ring, Glenn. Council Grove's Ethan Burton picks up the phone. It's a house call. Uh -oh. Burton goes all the way, uses a couple stiff arms on the way. Osage back on offense and back to land, and I'll call him Big Hoss Boss. Defender, the defenders are lost. <laughs> Osage City gives Council Grove the loss. Boss again to Brecken Bowen for a score. Osage wins 56-26. You win as a team and you lose as a team, and we talk about everybody doing their 112, and, and that's what it comes down to. You know, we have certain guys that get a lot of attention, but we couldn't do it without our scout guys. It's a total team effort tonight. You know, we just have to keep our heads and uh, go one and zero every week, and uh, just win the next week. We can't worry about two more. The one behind us, we have to worry about the next week and uh, just get the job done. Coach said every player doing their 12th part, and I like that. Everyone doing their stuff. 12th part on the team. Of uh, Osage finishes as league and district champs. Good stuff, Landon Boss. He's a boss. Manhattan looking to finish the regular season a perfect 8-0. A tough test, though. 6-1, Wichita Northwest comes to town. These guys don't seem too intimidated, though. First play from scrimmage, DeAndre Auckland. Room to run to the outside. Wait for it, Landon. Oh, got him. The juke package, the touchdown. <laughs> Indians, goodness. they got a quarterback that can run it, too, though. Keenan Shards, he's what you call a dual threat QB. I looked it up. Up the middle to the outside, gets a few blocks. You know how this ends. Touchdown. Glenn had More a where that came that from. One. I did. Uh, Urban Dictionary, actually. <laughs> Sharks in the red zone. QB keeper. He's got himself six more points. You know what's better than two rushing touchdowns? What's that, Glenn? Three rushing touchdowns. You're kidding Sharks, he's good with math. He agrees with me. QB sneak. He's Indians a smart guy. dominate this one. 49-21 playoff next, and they're 8-0. Wamigo welcoming Abilene to Boomtown, and the Red Raiders were <laughs> cooking. First quarter, Hagen Johnson making men miss. Emphasis on the men, not just one. Whoop! I've been to a few Wamigo games. This kid is good. Oh, yeah. It sets up Wamigo in the red zone. Wamigo on the goal line now. Give it to running back, Hayden Oviet. Dual threat. Call it an Ovi hit stick. <laughs> Pat the ref on the back. Good job. Red Raiders up 7 0. Cowboys looking to pass, and that pocket is collapsing. We shout out the offense a lot, but this Red Raiders defense is one of the best Very in the good. state. Very good. That was Gage Woodward with a sack. Omigo knocking on the door again. Get it back to Hayden Oviet. Arriva Derche working on my Italian, Glenn. I think Hayden Oviet might be back. Can't confirm. 
Colin Donahue is good too. He scrambles and finds Chase Cottom in the back of the end zone with this pass. Red Raiders finish a regular season 8-0 with a 49-0 win. They're at home here on out. There we go. That's three 8-0 teams to start our highlights tonight. We're jumping straight into this one. Topeka West at Washburn Rural. Here goes McKenzie Sams. I'm going to talk a lot about him, so buckle up and get used to hearing his name. 62 okay yards that. to the house. Rural gets it back. They give it to number two. Oh, that's McKenzie Adams. 38 yards this time. He scores again. Junior Blues, they're going to get crazy and mix it up this next time. Brandon DeWeese to Amr Sabarini. They go up 40 to 6, still the first quarter. And then the defense gets in on the scoring. Ty Weber, instead of his usual big hits, how about a pick six? Imagine a highlight without him. He's good. Not done yet, though. Rural running again. Guess who? McKintis Adams. That's he scores who I guess. four touchdowns. Holy cow. In the first quarter. The first Washburn quarter. Washburn Rural finishes the regular season six and two. They win 81 to 12. My goodness. St. Mary's taking on McLeod. This one was all Bears. McLeod looking to convert off fourth down. St. Mary's comes up with the stop. Bears get the ball back, and Kella Hurla, he's a bad oh, yeah. man, mm -hmm. drops back and finds Nate Hutley for a touchdown. Bears up 45-0 at half. They win this one 58-6. Dominant. Let's take a look at some other scores. Holden finishes the regular season 7-1. They take down Jeff West 53-7. And Royal Valley at Perry LeCompton cause pick up a big win on senior night, 46-8. Junction City at Emporia. Spartans give Blue Jays a run here. Emporia was up at half, but JC comes back and wins 53 to 36. Rock Creek at Concordia Mustangs win that one 46 to 20. Axel, eight man, eight wins. They finish undefeated. Beat Donovan West 68 zip. Highland Park wins as well. They get the 62 48 win over KC Washington. Seaman at KC Piper. Vikings fall in their finale 31 to 13. Silver Lake picks up a win 41 to 30 over Atchison County. Silver Lake managers always get us the score. You love to see that. What stood out from this one, Landon, real quick? I, the amount of teams that finished undefeated. Mm -hmm. We got some good teams in our area. Central, mm -hmm. Wamego, Manhattan, and then St. Mary's going to be a threat at 1A. I and then think there's some one and two losses. Maybe right Northeast Kansas finds a way to sweep the state titles. We'd be all for it. If you guys are playing past Thanksgiving, I'm all for it. Let's go.